So it's been a while since I've reviewed anything to do with exercise. I haven't been exercising much lately, but the Terragun always kind of piqued my interest. Firstly, because of how premium it looks, and secondly, the price isn't exactly cheap. So I wanted to find out for myself what the buzz was all about. So thanks to a company called We Are Ready Singapore, they've loaned me not just one Terragun, we also have the compact version, the Prime, and last of all, we have the Pro model. Now, the Pro model is definitely something that's top of the line, it's more for people in the fitness industry, but today we have all of them here, and we're gonna unbox all of them and figure out the differences between all of these guys. The Theragun is essentially a smart percussive therapy device aimed at deep muscle treatment to help speed up muscle recovery. These Theraguns are paired with an app that not only lets you control the speed of the percussions, but also has various guides on how best to use the Theragun based on your needs. These guides were developed and programmed by professionals to give you the best results possible doing it on your own. The app monitors the timing of each of these guides and also recommends a pressure range and monitors it from your Theragun in real time. So I think the thing that scares most people away is the price of the Theragun Pro. Now, for average people, average athletes out there, fitness people, I don't think the Theragun Pro is necessary. It's more for people in the industry, in the massage and therapy industry for muscle recovery. Those are the guys that really need this and we'll get into that in a bit. But I'll just jump straight to the point and tell you guys my recommendation. The Prime. I feel the Theragun Prime is the most all-rounded product. It's not the most expensive, but yet it packs a lot of features in there and we'll get to that in a bit. All right, so the Terragun Mini is the smallest one that they have, and rightly so. This is more a travel pack kind of size. It's really small, um, and I think it's the cheapest among all of them. It should be the cheapest. It's very basic, actually. So inside, you'll get a travel case, which is really nice. Uh, Terragun logo on the front, and uh, you get some instruction manuals. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, you get some instruction manuals, you got some stickers. Um, I believe this model has the smallest manual, which is just one piece of paper, but that's how simplistic it is. Now, of course, with something so small, you are sacrificing some of the functionality, but not necessarily all of it. Inside, we also have the charging brick. Now, this charging brick uh, comes with the UK adapter, but if you slide it off, you have the US adapter inside, which is really convenient. So yes, it has a built-in battery, that's why you need a charger. So as you can see, I have a microphone next to me here and this will pick up all the sounds of the Terragun massages. Because that's one of the things that many people are concerned of is how loud they actually are. So right out of the travel case, you can see the entire thing. This is the Terragun Mini. Um, it has a grip on the top, this triangular shape. Not too sure why it's triangular, but I think it's the most efficient one. So that's not like a weird T shape. You get a nice firm grip on this. Uh, it comes with one singular massage attachment over here. You can of course buy extra attachments, but we'll get to that in a bit. Now along here, you'll see the power button, which is right in the middle here. You click it once and you'll see a light turn up on the button. So this light indicator has a couple of meanings. When it's solid green, it means it's fully charged. When it's flashing green, it's somewhat of a 75%. When it's blue, it's half. And when it's red, it's low. So that's the only way you can tell the battery levels of this. So to turn on the whole thing, you just simply hold it down and you can see that it has started percussing. So I'll just let you guys hear the sound. So next to the power indicator, there are three light buttons. This is to indicate the three different preset speeds that they have. So right underneath the power button, you'll find the charging port, and that's how you're gonna charge up this whole unit. So that's about it. That's the Terragun Mini, comes with a single attachment. Um, and yeah, all in all, it's a really compact and easy to travel with device. Uh, comes with a nice case, so that's always good. All right, so next up we have the Terragun Prime. This is the next level up and uh, comes in a slightly bigger box, of course. So right inside the box, you get the Terragun itself. Uh, you got this little nice velvet cloth carrying case. Um, the instruction manuals again. And this time we actually have a couple more attachments. We have one that's like this cone shape, uh, one that's slightly thinner than the one that's already attached and a nice round bald one. 
So these attachments can of course be swapped out for uh, the one that's already on and I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, but let's just finish up with the unboxing. So you also get a um, charger here. This one also detaches and you get the US plug inside. That's nice. You can either go for the two pin or if you want, you can go for the three pin plug. So that's really nice. They give you an extra option right there. All right, so the attachments, we have a total of four attachments. Let me just move all these aside. And to remove the attachments, uh, there's a specific way so that you can make these guys last a bit longer. Uh, you have to grab it essentially all the way to the bottom of the rim and just pull it out with force. Now this way you kind of preserve it a bit longer um, to lessen the wear and tear of these attachments. So to put the next one on, you just align it to the grooves and snap it back in. So it's pretty simple. I don't really want to use the sharp one. Um, let's try the round one over here. Now, this is a pretty compact piece still, I find, but the obvious difference is of course the shape and the handle of it. Now, Theragun has this triangular shape handle here for a specific reason, and that is so that you can hold it differently to get into hard to reach places. So they've advertised that you can get up to, I think 95% reach of your body, you know. So right up here, you have a single button with two up and down arrows. You click it once, you can see that it's turned on. Um, and then you can see that the dots this time actually indicate the battery level. Uh, you hold it down once more and you get the first power bar. So to increase the rate of percussion, you simply press the up or down button to increase or decrease the speed. Now I'm just going to let you guys hear the sound of uh, the Terragun Prime. It kind of sounds like an electric toothbrush, not that noisy, but again, it's not exactly silent. Uh, but it is an improvement from their previous generation, so that's good. So there you go. Now the thing about the Terragun Prime, the Elite and the Pro model is that it comes with Bluetooth connectivity that you can connect to an app. Now this app is meant to guide and give you some professional advice on how to use this gun. It has timings, it has routines, and it senses the pressure of how hard you're pushing this gun onto your muscles in real time and advises you an optimal amount of pressure. But there you have it, the Terragun Prime. Next up we have the Terragun Elite, this is the next step up above the Pro and uh, it has a couple of differences. Now firstly it comes with a really nice carrying case, uh, this kind of uh, slightly grey blackish uh, fabric case which is very nice, it's actually a, it's a hard case. So you can carry it around um, safely and very conveniently. Now inside, oh you got some accessories here. So compared to the Pro, the finishes are a bit different. If you see the Pro, it's more of a matte plastic texture, whereas this one you get a bit of a glossy finish with this blue band over here. So it looks a bit more premium and uh, wow, it feels it's definitely a bit bigger. It still comes with that triangular handle shape, which is really good. Uh, but like I said, this one comes with a screen at the front so you can see the actual speed of percussion. Uh, other than that, um, it's Practically the same, it has a Bluetooth connection as well to the app um, and the same kind of battery life, so... Oh, it actually sounds a bit softer. Shall we compare? Alright, so we have the Pro and the Elite. Let's do a quick comparison. It kind of sounds a bit more digital. I don't know what it is. It sounds a bit more lubricated rather than the very mechanical sound of the Pro, but that's just sound, you know. It sounds a bit quieter as well. Now, this one packs a bit of a weight to it. It's definitely slightly bigger than the Pro model. No, it's actually the same size. Oh, shit. No, 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 it's slightly bigger. Just ever so slightly, just at the bottom. It's probably taller, yeah. So to turn on this whole thing, you just press the power button once, you get the little nice Terragun logo, and you get the battery indicator which is on the top left. Now, I've been using this one so it's kind of uh, 25%, uh, and if you press it again, it turns it on, and you adjust the speed by the up and down buttons. 
So the left and right buttons essentially go through a few of the installed presets for different routines, uh, but we're not going to get into that just yet. Um, let's talk about what you get in the attachments. Now, flipping over this thing, which is really nice, uh, you get, ooh, unstrap this, and all the attachments are hidden inside this pocket. So you have the additional one, which I think it's this one, uh, sort of a flat, sharper head. So that's, that's really nice. Uh, you get the same round ball one. I think you get the cone one as well. And the, let's call it the not so coney one. Um, I'm sure there are actual names for it, but uh, I just can't remember them just yet. I'll put them in the screen. Now you also get a instruction manual inside there and uh, all the charging cables are inside here. So that's really nice actually that everything is done in one case. There's nothing left inside the box. Um, so portability wise, this Terragun Elite is actually really good. If I want to bring the Pro model out, I'll have to have a separate bag for the charger and the attachments whereas the Terragun Elite has its own case. So that's very nice. Alright, so now we have the Terragun Pro. This is the top of the line model. Comes in a really huge and heavy box uh, and rightly so you're paying the price for it. So this one, oof, alright, comes with its own case, so that's good. It would be weird if it didn't. Alright, so let's just take out the case and we actually have some more stuff in the bottom. Um, so let's, let's do the case opening first and then we'll see what accessories we have. So just like the Terragun Elite, we have a nice matte uh, grey fabric case. It's also a hard case, so that's good. And inside, we have the Terragun Pro. So this model is the same size as the Elite, but it comes with a couple of different functions. Now, first of all, we still have the screen, which is really nice to see the menus and all that. Uh, we have the same buttons, the power, the left, right, up, down. So that's all the same. But now we have the option of adjusting the angle of the head of the percussion device. So you get um, one, two, three, four different angles. So that really changes up the game. Now you have a lot more flexibility to get into hard to reach places. Um, you have more flexibility to adjust it the way you want to hold it. So that's something interesting about the Pro model. Now the other thing that's interesting is that it also has a battery release. That's right, this has an external battery. So you push this one here, it's a bit hard to push, and a battery comes out like that. So this battery, uh, they come with a spare battery, so each of these batteries lasts about 150 minutes. So this Pro model is really meant for the professionals who need to be out and about with clients and they have no time to keep charging different batteries. So they might just swap it out while one is charging, they can use the other one for their therapy sessions. But yeah, pretty cool that it's rechargeable like that. Now the other thing about this is that it comes with even more head attachments. Now the head attachment can be found in this, I, I don't know why there's a foam thing like that, it looks a bit weird. I don't, I don't understand why they didn't just do it like the Elite case, but there's the foam. Um, you have the spare battery over here, uh, you have a spare pocket, I think perhaps you can buy a spare battery and have three batteries, I don't know. Um, and you have the instruction manual. Now the funny thing is that the charger isn't included inside this case, it's in the accessories. So I'm not sure if you're meant to bring out the charger, you can probably just fit it into this compartment over here. Um, but that's always an option. All right, so let's just take a look at what we get in the accessories at the bottom of the box. I'm just gonna put this on the side. Whoa. All right, so the accessories come at the bottom of this. You got a nice um, story bought from Terragun. Actually, Terra Body. Terra Body is the main um, body uh, company that encompasses a few other devices, not just the Terragun. So you guys can check that out. All right, so inside we have the charger, which is a power brick here. Uh, and of course, a charging dock for the battery. So like I said, you can charge one battery while using the other. And it's nice that they included a stand like this. Um, other than that, we also get the attachments that's in a very nice case like this. So we have the bald one, we have the thinner bald one, we have the narrow tip and the sharp tip. 
but we also have this very special one which has a case. Now this one, when you take off the cap, you'll find a very nice foam texture here that's, that's pretty unique. And uh, not only that, it can be removed with Velcro, so you can potentially replace this or even clean this very easily uh, and just pop it back on. It has its own nice cover, like I said, to protect the shape of this foam. So uh, that's something very interesting about the Pro model. Um, I'm not an expert in massage therapy, so probably the experts out there know what this attachment is for. But yes, you get a total of six attachments, including the one that's already on there. And basically that's the Pro model. Alright, so now that we've unboxed everything, I can kind of compare each of these and recommend to you guys which one really suits your needs. Now, let's start off with the Terragun Mini again. Now, this one is the most compact, the cheapest, and the most simplistic one that's great for traveling or if you are someone who's always going to the gym and wants something that's very portable, I think this is the one for you. It doesn't come with many options, but at the same time, it has an impressive battery life of 150 minutes. The other guns, however, comes in at 120 minutes. So that's something a bit strange, but I guess that's an advantage in this case for the Terragun Mini. Now, of course, the Terragun Mini doesn't come with many attachments. It just comes with the one over here, but you can always go online and buy a couple more if you feel like it or if you need it. So there you go, the Terragun Mini. That's great for portability, travel, and anything that has to do with moving around. Now the next one, the Prime, this one is something that I really recommend out of all of these guys. And like I said, it has all of the functions that you need. It has the nice ergonomic grip, it has all the speed functions, and most importantly, it has the Bluetooth connection to the app. The app has many guides inside made by professionals that teaches you how to use the guns properly. So I think that's a very important thing, especially when it's Bluetooth connected and monitors the pressure of how hard you're pressing this gun against your muscles uh, and does all that in real time. So only the three here have this Bluetooth connectivity and can use the app. So actually that's a downside for the Mini. So the Prime, it has everything, sort of everything. It has most of everything that you need all in a small compact package. You don't need any extra big chargers, extra batteries, or too many of the attachment heads. So I really recommend the Prime. Now, if you want to go up the next level, of course, we have the Elite. Now, the Elite, of course, comes with the nice screen here, so it looks really premium. It has a different finish, and of course, it comes with many different attachments. Um, five, I believe, we unpacked. So that's the Elite. I would say that if you're on a budget, go for the Mini first. If you think that you are someone that will use this very often, go for the Prime. I would say that if you're on a budget, a relatively all right budget, go for the Elite. Only if you want the luxury of having a case and the many attachments. Um, but honestly, I don't think that this is the most worth it. It's somewhat in the middle, like somebody created this one just because somebody couldn't afford the Pro model. That's just my opinion. Um, but in this case, the Pro model, it's really something that's of a different league. It's more for the professionals who knows what they are doing with the massage guns. Um, like I said, it has all the flexibilities. This, this mechanics right here, the moving um, arm over here, this isn't easy to engineer. It actually takes a lot of effort and I think that's where most of the pricing goes into. Uh, to be able to have this percussion arm being that flexible uh, really takes up a lot of space up here. And the fact that it has a replaceable battery makes it also a more longer lasting product. Uh, these other guns, however, I'm not too sure what's the warranty or the services, but once it has an inbuilt battery, most devices that has an inbuilt battery also means that it has a dedicated expiry date. It means once the battery dies, the whole device is kind of useless. Um, hopefully they have some kind of service that replaces the battery, but like, you know, iPhones, if you want to replace the battery, it's going to cost you a lot more. But it's nice, like I said, that the Pro model has um, this replaceable battery, especially for the professionals who use it a lot more often than us. That's nice. In terms of the functionality of these guns, there are a couple of differences. Now, firstly, like I said, the speed, this one has three presets, whereas the rest have about five presets each. But then again, each of these three guys can sort of incrementally increase the percussion speed, whereas this one is stuck with just its presets. 
So that's one thing to consider as well. All right, going back to the battery life, um, all of these take about 80 minutes to fully charge up. Um, the two here, the Pro and the Elite, have a battery life of 120 minutes. The Terragun here has 150 minutes. And the Pro model here, for each of the batteries, is 150 minutes each. But essentially, you have two of these batteries, which means 300 minutes of battery life. One of the things that I found very curious about these guns uh, that really sets them apart from each other is the amount of force that you can place <laughs> On your muscles. Um, this was a surprise to me that it was even a difference but I guess that's what you're paying for especially if you're going for the higher end models uh, you might want to press a bit deeper into your muscles a bit tougher. So the mechanics inside these guns are meant to take a higher amount of pressure. To explain what I mean we're going to use the Terragun Mini. I'm just going to turn it on right here and just press it against my arm to see uh, at what pressure it stops at. And that didn't take much pressure. So if you're gonna buy something like this, don't expect to press it against your muscles too hard. Uh, the motor inside can only take so much. So the difference between the Terragun models and the ones that you can buy from Amazon and eBay for a lot cheaper, um, firstly, like I said, the Bluetooth connectivity and the guides. So having a Bluetooth app means that the company can always update and keep refreshing all its new intelligence about massage therapy on muscle treatments. Uh, secondly, the amount of pressure that you can exert on these guys, like I said, the Pro model is pretty insane, uh, but I don't think you need that much pressure for just an average person. However, the most important selling point for the Terraguns is the amount of percussion reach they have for these percussion hits. So basically, these percussion hits are able to reach deeper into your muscles compared to other cheaper models out there. So after all the unboxing and finding out about all the different functions and the differences, it kind of justifies the prices that you're paying for these premium products. Now these products are not just made well, but they are developed by professionals. It comes with an integrated app that keeps you updated and teaches you how to best use the product. You might not be getting the full potential of what a massage gun can actually do for your muscles, but then again, you're not wrong either. If you're just an amateur trying out these muscle therapies for the first time, go ahead and get the cheaper one. But if you want to invest in a proper routine daily, they actually recommend you to use this daily. I would say get the Terragun Prime. Now, We Are Ready Singapore actually sells all of these products, so you can check out their website. They have kindly sponsored uh, the Elite to me, which is nice because it comes with a carrying case. But honestly, if I was going to buy it myself, I would only be able to afford the Prime and I don't need something that's this advanced. I don't need a screen. I think it has all the main functions here and most importantly, the Bluetooth connectivity to the app. So this is my pick, the Prime. But of course, it really depends on how often you use it, what you're using it for, and what your budget is. So I hope this has been informative and helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Like I said, I'm not an expert on massage therapy, but I'll try my best to answer your questions. But I hope this has been informative and helpful for you guys. Um, pick up one of these at the store and try it out for yourself. Uh, it's been really comfortable using this after long runs or after workouts. So really good investment overall, and I highly recommend it. Alright, thanks for watching guys, give it a like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.